thank you for tuning in welcome back to my channel this is another synthetic wig review ish not too sure how to call this video but look at it wait let me turn around and I was able to put it half up half down like did you see that it is not shiny at all it doesn't even feel synthetic I mean of course the lace is but yeah look at her <laughs> okay so I got this hair off of Amazon okay and it came in a pack like this says Andrea and they also have their social media followers. I don't know why I'm doing it like this, but I'll leave everything in the description. Will I wear this hair again? Probably not. I mean, it is synthetic. If you take care of her, you'll be able to use it again, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if possible, subscribe again. <laughs> yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, fast forward. I went ahead to press the the hair down with my hot iron, and then I got my um, my natural hair ready to to wear this wig. I used that Gorilla Glue to my edges down because we don't want the actual glue on those because it's gonna like wipe everything off so you want to make sure your edges are secure so after securing your hair with the wig cap if you're a black beauty like myself you want to make sure that you're using a foundation that matches your skin tone like you can see in the video I used the darkest shade that I have to kind of max on that uh, wig cap to make it kind of imitate our scalp so yeah that's like what we're going for I then went in with the same foundation on the lace because I initially I wanted to make a middle part but I just changed my mind because it wasn't coming out right like I didn't know what I was doing wrong and I just gave up so at this point I'm totally fed up it doesn't look on my face but I am tired with this wig because this wig dragged me. It really dealt with me because it wasn't just acting how I needed it to act. It was all over the place and I just didn't know how to style it at this point. So then I went in with my got to be glue and then and then I used the lower setting on my hand dryer to kind of dry out that glue for a bit and then I cut out that bomb ass lace off of that wig because it was I was not feeling it at all okay so I usually cut off the lace in sections as you see me do because it just helps me get closer to the hairline better and everything just kind of adds out if you ask me but am I mad at this wig yes I am because I don't know why they put that lace on the wig but anyway you get what you pay for you know you're trying to be cheap that's what you get <laughs> So right after cutting the lace, I went back in with the glue to kind of fill in the gaps because you have to do that to make sure that the wig is secure. I didn't have to do this since I didn't really care about this wig, but well, I just feel like I gotta show y'all. So I did a little bit of that, just a little tiny bit of the glue and then went in with my foundation to kind of make that lace go away, you know, disappear.
Okay, now here I am struggling to style this hair. Initially, I was supposed to do like a middle part, okay? But then since everything started going south, I decided, okay, let's play. <laughs> so, I couldn't even do a middle part. I didn't even know what the heck I was doing at this point. I was just like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna do these baby hairs and then lay you to rest, that's it. So I went on to do the baby hairs. Well, the baby hairs didn't even come out right though. <laughs> Okay, so although I struggled with the synthetic hair, I love a good challenge. So let me know what y'all want to see on this channel next, okay? After everything, the hair came out nice. I mean, you can wear it for like the day. And I love the outcome. So pretty much this is it. This is the end of the video. Please make sure you like, comment, and share. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what y'all want to see. Until next time, see y'all. Stuff.